Alright guys, so this is the Samsung Galaxy S8. I'm just going to show you how to do a factory reset or a hard reset as well as how to clear the cache. So the first thing you want to do guys is you're just going to power down the device. So we'll, or long press the power button which is over here. You're just going to hit um, power. Sorry. I'm just going to hit um, power. And then the device should power down. Alright, once the device is powered down, you're going to hold down um, the power button, the big B button, and volume up. So, hold down all three, volume up, power, big B button, which is the button over here, volume up here, and power over here. So, it's going to hold all of them. As soon as you see the Samsung logo, you can let go. And you should see a screen with the Android guy, as shown here says installing system updates don't worry about that so you say no command just give it a little time it should go away and there you go we're now in um, recovery um, mode so we'll just bring this up a bit so you can actually see all right now that you're in um, recovery what we're going to do is use volume up and down to navigate if you want to wipe um, cache partition simply navigate down to wipe cache partition hit power to um, select you can actually say yes and it will be a simple thing as wiping the um, cache so i'm just going to demonstrate there you go you'll know it's wiped when you see it all the way down at the base here that says um, formatting cache cache wipe complete cache wipe complete all right um, so that's it for wiping the um, cache now if you wanted to do a um, data and factory reset right um, make sure that before you attempt this that if your device you are able to boot into your device make sure you have to remove all of your Google accounts or the FRP or the um, factory reset protection will kick in um, it's fine if you already know your Google account connected Google account and know the password but if not advise you go into um while the device is on if it can be powered up go into settings cloud um on accounts and make sure that the google accounts are removed if not it could cause issues later on just a warning before you proceed so if you're sure of what i'm saying and it's all accounts have been removed simply um um just go ahead if not go back or up and select um re reboot system now login and of course um, remove the password since I've already um, done that I'm just gonna wipe on factory um, reset it's gonna ask me if I really want to do that of course I can say yes or no so I'm just gonna go ahead and um, select um, yes and as you can see action is taking place down here there it shows formatting data formatting cache and it says factory reset done our data wipe completed so now I'm just going to reboot system now it may take a longer while or longer time than normal for the system to boot up so what you want to do is to actually give the phone some um, time it will be just as if you just um, got this device um, from the factory so everything is going to be wiped um, clean I might cut out um, sections of this footage as well. Alright guys, so um, it says um, installing applications. Um, as I said guys, do not panic if it takes. It can take up to 2, 3 minutes, 4 minutes. So it might take a little while, so just um, be patient. There you go, that's the um, welcome screen. Alright, so I'm just going to um, set up. I might skip through this part as well.
Okay, so after a long wait, um, after that screen, um, it takes a very, very long time. So just give it time. So it says there is a problem communicating with Google servers. So simply hit next. Um, enter your name. Can select no to these. Skip. And skip anyway. Can skip all of these until um, later. Skip. Skip. Alright so guys, so, and so there you go, the device is fully set up as you can see, everything is in proper working um, condition, so that's how you actually reset your device. Guys, if you found this tip useful, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe from Blog Tech Tips, and bye until next time, bye.